Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to do a little disassembly and cleaning of the Colt Government Model Competition Series 9mm with a 5 inch national uh, match barrel, matte blue finish. And this is the Model O uh, 1911 pattern pistol made by Colt. Uh, if you are familiar with 1911 pistols, the disassembly and cleaning on this one, it's really not much different. Um, it is a Series 80, so inter internally there's a few different parts, but uh, for the most part when it comes down to, to cleaning, it really is not a whole lot different. So to clean this pistol for today, a couple simple things that you can use. Grab your favorite cleaner. You can use a CLP if you want to, like Safari Land. I like to use GunTube, Lube, uh, CLP. You can get this over at the GunTube store, GunTube.org. It's great stuff. Um, I'm also going to be testing some cleanse oil. Now I've got a little tiny bottle. This is just a little sample bottle. I actually got two of them from Cleanse Oil. It's the first time I've ever used this before. Um, it does come highly rated. There's another YouTuber out there. Give him a little shout out for letting me know about this stuff. Um, I haven't tried it, so we're going to see how well it works. It's been around for a long time. Um, I just wanted to get the sample bottle because I wasn't sure you know, if I was going to like it or not, but it should be good to go. It should be some decent stuff. Um, also, it helps to have a soft uh, bristle brush around. You can either get some cleaning brushes in the cleaning section at your local firearm store, mom and pop gun store, or you can always use an old toothbrush if you want to. Um, this is a 1911, uh, basically a recoil spring cover or cap wrench. Some people call it a plunger wrench. I got this one with my Ruger SR 1911. It makes uh, disassembly a little bit easier, especially if you have any kind of arthritis issues or weak grip strength. Um, you can disassemble it without it, but these are nice to have. So look into one of those if you don't have one. We're also going to use a 9mm slash 380 bore snake to clean out the barrel. It's just a little bit quicker than running the bristles through and the, and the, the, the barrel mop and all that stuff. A couple of whips of this down the barrel, you should be all set to go. And then uh, obviously some Q-tips are good to help. We, have, you know, we need to be fueled by caffeine, so today's beverage, today's coffee, we're going to be drinking some Arbuckle's Ariosa. I figure we got a classic pistol, let's drink some classic coffee to go along with it. That is fantastic stuff, I'm not sponsored by them, but this stuff is delicious. Also check out their Mexicali blend if you like a nice kind of high powered brew. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, cleaning patches. Um, if you don't want to buy cleaning patches, you can cut up an old cotton t-shirt, and that's usually a little bit cheaper, so this is one way that you can go about it. Now we're going to be using the cleanse oil primarily on the barrel and underneath the slide, a little bit inside the frame. Um, but for the most part, we're going to stick with the, uh, the gun tube lube on the outside and a few other components. So before we get started, it's always a good idea to ensure that the firearm is in fact unloaded. So all that you got to do is press the magazine ejection button. Okay, magazine's going to come out. Magazine is empty. Push those off to the side, we'll wipe those off here in just a little bit. Open, pull back on the slide, check the chamber, verify that it's empty. It is empty and uh, we are good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and start off just by cleaning off the magazines and then uh, we will continue. So you want to keep your magazines basically oil free, but it doesn't mean you still can't clean them, right? And it does help out. It does help once in a while to disassemble and clean them. We just won't be doing that in this particular video, but I got just a drop of some CLP on a patch. Uh, just go ahead and wipe that off at the top and then if there's any kind of carbon buildup on there or whatever, it will come out. So wipe it off. Okay, we're going to do that to the other one also. Not much on there. I don't know if this uh, pistol's ever been fired before. Uh, this may be the first rounds that we're going to be putting through it. I'm pretty excited to take it out though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so go ahead and just push that off to the side. Grab yourself another patch and wipe off the excess oil. You want to keep the oil away from your ammunition, especially from the primers. I don't know if it can hurt it or not. I've been told that if you get oil in the primers, it can cause the primers to not go off. It can basically render them useless, but that's just something for us to argue <laughs> in the comments down below at some other point. Okay, we have went ahead and wiped those off. Just set those off to the side. Okay, now for the next section, we're going to go ahead and uh, drop the hammer. Again, the pistol is clear. So when you are getting the plunger out and the spring, it's a pretty simple process. What you're going to do is press down on the plunger with your thumb. And you want to pull back on the slide just a little bit so that it's, you know, maybe about a quarter inch or so. You're going to grip it and you're going to push down on the plunger and slide. The cap will come across one way. However you want to do it is fine. Like I said, I prefer to use the little wrench. So let's go ahead and take this uh, plunger out. And this is per the instructions. You pull down about a quarter inch. We're going to take the wrench and we're going to push it off to the left. About a quarter of a turn. Now you want to be careful because that plunger is under pressure and it can basically launch itself up in the air. So I'm going to finish this off just using my fingers. I press down with my index finger on the top right here, use my thumb, and then slide the cap across. Okay, make sure you hold on to that spring because it's going to launch it. Okay, so take the cap off from the recoil spring. Go ahead and pull your recoil spring out. It is a two-piece, non-captive setup, so it could launch the spring. The guide rod is behind here. We'll, we'll get to the guide rod once we disassemble it. And now to take out the barrel bushing, just slide it counterclockwise 
and uh, you will be able to just pull that right out, okay? There you go. All right, set it off to the side, and let's start getting some stuff cleaned up here. The instructions say to use a liberal amount of this uh, cleanse oil on the parts when you're cleaning them. I'm just going to put a couple little drops on there, spread it around a little bit. There you go. You're supposed to let it soak for four to five minutes. We're going to give this a couple minutes to soak. Wipe it all off with a patch. Well, wipe it on with a patch, essentially, so get it all over all the surfaces. Uh, recoil spring included. Just go ahead and put a couple dabs of that on there. There we go. You're not using a whole lot. Okay, just set that off to the side. Grab a cotton patch and we'll just wipe this stuff on and then we're going to wipe it off with just a little bit of CLP. So the cleanse oil is going to be kind of like the degreaser. It's going to take off all that factory grease and all that carbon. Pull that off to the side. Again, we're just kind of wiping it on so it stays on there. Okay, go ahead and wipe a little bit on the barrel bushing. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. So we're going to come back in about uh, probably four or five minutes and we're going to hit this up with some CLP and we will continue. Okay, and we are back. In case I didn't mention it before, <clears throat> you might want to get yourself a little section of a single piece of a cleaning rod. If you have a pistol cleaning rod, you can use that. We'll use that to get into some tight nooks and crannies. And so the inside of this uh, recoil spring cap, we're going to go ahead and wipe that out. And that's going to take out any dirt or grime or any kind of buildup that's in there. We've just got a drop or two of some oil on a patch. Simple enough. You can see we are bringing off some carbon. It's taking it off. It's been about four minutes, by the way, since we added this um, cleanse oil. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and apply just a very, very thin coat of oil to the outside of that recoil plug. Again, I like to call it a plunger. You can call it whatever you want to. There we go. Okay, we're going to set that off to the side. Barrel bushing. Let's wipe that off and see if it brings off any dirt or grime. Yeah, it's definitely taking off some carbon. This is definitely some good stuff. It's getting everything nice and clean. Definitely is degreasing a lot more than what we've run into with just using CLP. Wow, it's taking a lot off. Look at that. Not bad. Okay, we're going to use uh, one more patch with just a drop of oil on it, and we'll use that to, to lubricate the barrel bushing so it's all set to go. Just, again, light coat, no big deal. You're going to hear me say that a million times, and you can wipe off any excess before you reassemble if you want to. Not a problem. Okay, get your pinky in there, and you can clean out that little bushing. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to uh, remove the slide stop. Some people like to call it a slide release. And we're going to pull back on the slide, pull back on the hammer, pull back on the slide so that it lines up with this first little uh, takedown notch that we have right here. Okay, you might have to fiddle with that just a little bit to get it to come loose. And on the back side, you got a, a rear part, like a button right here that you want to push, and that's going to allow your slide release to come out. So push on that from the back. There we go. It might take a little bit of force the first time you do it because it's in there tight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull that out. So we're going to give this a drop or two of cleanse oil and set that off to the side and then we're just going to wipe it off with a dry patch and then an oil patch. Okay, we put a little bit of oil on there. Go ahead and wipe that on. Cover up the whole surface. Okay, let that sit for just a few minutes and we'll degrease that. Okay, now for the slide all you have to do is just push forward. The slide's going to come right off. There we go. Okay, so we've got the lower half. We've got your frame. Okay, on the top we've got your barrel. The barrel, all you have to do is take this little loop right here, push it forward, and slide the barrel right out, and that's going to come out. Set that off to the side. That is very dirty, so that definitely needs to be cleaned. The whole gun is uh, it's pretty filthy inside. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the recoil guide rod here, and let's just wipe it off with an initial dry patch. It's got some oil on it and some muck, a little bit of grime going on there. Okay, and got that all taken care of. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. Excellent. There's a little gasket here, too. You can pull that forward. Don't lose that. In fact, you can just leave it on there if you want to so you don't misplace it. Okay. Every 1911 kind of has its own little quirks when it comes to cleaning. You might discover there might be a slight difference in assembly or reassembly and so on. Let's put a little bit of cleanse oil on that uh, guide rod. Okay. I'll just wipe that on with my fingers. Okay. Let that soak for just a few minutes. So for the barrel, we're going to go and clean the outside first because it is really dirty. So again, cleanse oil on the outside of that. Now the bottle says to use a liberal amount, so we'll see how well this does work. If it gets it nice and shiny, then I'm going to be a new fan of this stuff. There we go. Okay, we'll work on the inside here in just a second. Okay, we're going to let that stuff sit for about another four minutes or so, and then we'll continue with the inside of the slide in the frame. Okay, it's been about four minutes. Let's go ahead and take a dry patch and wipe off the barrel and just see how clean it actually comes. It was pretty filthy before. Ooh, look at that. 
That is awesome. Okay, cleanse oil. You guys have a new customer. This is great stuff. I'm still going to give it a little protective coil, uh, protective coating of some CLP. But man, look at that. Wow, that's easy. You just literally just wipe the muck right off of it. No problems. I also like to take a Q-tip at this point. Got a little bit still on the back there, but we might hit that with a couple more drops and let it sit. But uh, man, that's, wow, that's easy. Normally you have to scrub it with a brush and stuff. It just takes it right off. Let's take a Q-tip with a drop of CLP on it and wipe out the inside okay, of this little ring here. Catch the top of it. That kind of cleaned out. We'll just leave a little thin light coat of oil around this area. Some people, I know some people like to grease up certain parts. I tend to just use CLP. Okay, that's good to go. All right, now let's uh, run some of this cleanse oil down the barrel. Kind of just tilt it, rotate it a little bit, let that go. And what we're going to do is we're going to push a clean patch down the rear of the barrel and that'll help marinate the inside of that barrel so that uh, cleanse oil kind of soaks in there. Just a single patch. It isn't going to hurt nothing. It'll spread the cleanse oil all the way throughout the inside of it. Again, I'm not sponsored by cleanse oil. I actually bought that sample, but you can get it on their website for three bucks. I just didn't want to get the big bottle because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this stuff, but we'll see what it does. The inside of the barrel is mucked up pretty good. There's a lot of carbon in there. Some little crusties going on. Let's go ahead and push the patch through one time. Okay, remove the patch. And we're going to let that sit for a couple more minutes. All right, let's go ahead and wipe off the remaining residue of the cleanse oil from the slide stop. Okay, that's all taken care of. Looks good. And if there's anything left on the uh, guide rod for the recoil spring, wipe that all off. It's not bringing off too much muck, but that's okay. Okay, we will lubricate those parts before we reassemble, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, barrel sitting there marinating right now. Uh, inside of the slide, we're going to go ahead and put some cleanse oil inside the slide. Put it down in those tracks a little bit. Put it towards the rear. There we go. And this will definitely decarbon the inside of this thing. This stuff smells fantastic, by the way. It's almost kind of like a mint. It's, it's unusual, but it is definitely doing a great job. Now, we want to wipe this on the inside. Uh, I'm going to use a Q-tip for this process. Let's go ahead and just spread it all throughout the inside of the slide. All these little grooves and stuff. Just let that sit. Go from the front. Wipe the inside of it out. Just like this. Apologize if the angles are off a little bit. I'm standing off to the side as I do this. It's not my usual cleaning angle. Catch a little bit of it in the front here where your firing pin is. Kind of wipe it off. It's, man, it's taking off a lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes. Okay, inside of the barrel, I'm going to push one more dry patch down the barrel to get all that residue out of there, get all that cleanse oil out of there before we push a little bit of CLP with a bore snake. Get that barrel nice and clean. Push that through. Rod's just a little bit too short, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We're going to put a couple drips of CLP down the barrel. There we go. Let that go. Okay, go ahead and take your bore snake. Now, if you've got a cleaning rod, you're going to take your, your uh, brass bristle brush. You're going to put that on your cleaning rod, and you're going to go from the rear to the front, take off the brush, push it through a couple times, and then run a patch through it to clean it up. Uh, with me, put a couple more drops of CLP on the bore snake, which is going to lubricate, and then the remaining part of the snake is going to dry it. Okay, going from the back of the barrel to the front, push your bore snake through probably maybe three times. Depends on how dirty it is. Depends on, depends on how much shooting you've done with it. So for me... We'll take it through probably three times, I'm guessing. Just go ahead and pull it through. There we go. Let's go one more time, and then we'll take a look at it, see how good she looks. Pretty impressed so far, I can say that. All right, pull it through. Okay, let's check it, make sure it's nice and clean. Nice and shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that looks wonderful. Excellent. It's perfect. It's ready to go. Now I got enough kind of residue oil left over from cleaning and from the, uh, the bore snake here that all we have to do to finish off cleaning the barrel is just wipe it off with the dry patch, which is going to spread the oil all over the place. Again, everybody has their own way of cleaning. You do you, right? Stainless steel, beautiful barrel. It's coming out nice and clean. One part that really gets dirty is the top here, these lugs in your barrel. Sometimes you have to take a brush to that to get that really cleaned out. There's a lot going on there. And this, it almost looks like a manufacturing mark, but that was on there when you took it out of the gun, but that's okay. 
It might just be from just basic use, general use. And I have no idea how many times Cole fires these things before they leave the assembly, or once they leave the assembly line. That's basically oiled up, ready to go. Let's set the barrel off to the side. And now let's go ahead and just take this patch that has a little bit of oil on it and let's wipe out the inside of the slide. Just get what you can. This is probably going to take a lot of patches. Oh, oh my, look at that. This is where there's, this little cleaner rod does come in handy. Sometimes your fingers might be just a little bit too big to get in certain places. So just taking the clean patch, just go ahead and wipe out the inside, scrub it, makes it real easy to get in that channel there. Again, uh, some people do ask me how often do I clean my firearms. I clean them after every range trip. I want them basically ready to go. Unless I'm doing like four or five shots for whatever reason, which usually doesn't happen. But uh, if I do, you know, shoot 50 rounds, 100 rounds, I like to clean the firearms every time. You know, some people never clean their firearms. Some people go 1,000 rounds before they clean their firearms. It's pretty much up to you. I enjoy doing this. It's kind of calming. It's kind of fun for me. I enjoy making these videos. Cleaning videos are always the most fun videos for me to make. But well, still taking some carbon off of there. Yeah, this thing has seen a little bit of use. Again, just by the wear, I can't tell if it's from the factory or not. Check out those adjustable sights. It's got the blacked out rear adjustables. That little carbon fiber, or that little uh, fiber optic front sight. It's going to be so much fun to take to the range. Here we go. So I'd say this has been fairly well degreased. Put a couple drops of some CLP on a patch. A little bit more than that. Kind of spread it around on the patch a little bit and just wipe out the inside of the slide. We will take a Q-tip with some CLP to some of the more restricted areas here in just a moment. Again, you keep doing that as many times as you want to until you get the gun as clean to the point that you're happy with it. You know, you can keep going until there's no carbon left on the patch. We're just about there. Okay, again, I'm going to take my cleaning rod with a little uh, patch on with a couple drops of CLP and wipe out the inside. Okay, the inside of the slide is just about ready. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do is take a Q-tip here, drop a CLP again. This time we want to run this down the inside channels inside the slide. Run one down one side. Now depending on how dirty those are, you might want to do this a couple times. Okay, got some oil in there. The channels in the rear here give those a nice little clean off so everything's got a light protective coating of oil. Okay, there she goes. And then we're going to put Again, another drop of oil down this right channel on the right-hand side, what would be the left-hand side, depending on how you're holding it, down the center there. And uh, wipe off the front of the face with just a real light coating of oil. And then we're going to hit that with the dry patch, because I don't like to leave any oil in the area where the uh, firing pin is, so we're going to wipe that out. It's nice and dry. Okay. Your extractor right here, this little claw that you have on the inside. That part can sometimes get kind of dirty. Sometimes you want to hit that up with a Q-tip also. And you'll know if you're taking a lot of muck off of it just how dirty it is. But the uh, inside of the slide is ready to go. Okay, so I don't want to get the uh, cleanse oil down into the whole internal mechanisms and everything. There's just certain parts that I want to get it on. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm just going to put this on the top of the rail. A little bit on the top here. Make sure it doesn't run down the uh, trigger mechanism or the hammer. I'm just going to apply a little bit towards the rear. Okay, a little bit on the inside of these slides here the slide rails, there we go, and inside the dust cover. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for about four minutes and then we'll wipe that off with a clean patch. Okay, it's been about four minutes, let's go ahead and continue. Um, one thing about the cleaning brush, you know, if you've got some caked on carbon and it's not coming off and stuff's not coming clean, that's a time that you wanna bust out the brush. Again, just a soft nylon brush will definitely make it easier for you. For me, the cleanse oil is working so good, it's just taking the carbon right off. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing me say that, but it does work really well. And I've cleaned enough guns on this channel to know what's, what does work and what doesn't work. And look at that. That is just taking it off. That's awesome. Again, I'm only restricting the use of cleanse oil in this area to the rails. I don't know if I want to mess with getting it down in the hammer mechanism and the trigger. I try to keep it away from there. Try to stick with just strictly gun oil for an application like that. Okay, you might want to go over this a couple times to get everything degreased. This whole notch area down here. Okay, go ahead and get that cleaned off. Wipe it all off. Dry Q-tip and just run that down the channels. We're going to hit that up with some oil here in just a moment. And look at that. There we go. I think I'm going to have to invest in a bigger bottle. All that carbon, all that grime, all that crud coming off of there. Okay, you got your extractor back here. There we go. And you can tell that the parts are now dry. There's no buildup on there. There's no oil on there. These are all parts definitely that we need to uh, lubricate. Okay, next step here is to put a little CLP on a patch, and we're going to wipe out the inside of the frame. OK, 
Okay, now I got a drop of CLP on each side of the Q-tip, run down the tracks. Okay, put it over the top, top of the rails. As you shoot the pistol more, you're going to notice more and more area where there's contact and wear. Those are going to be the points that you want to make sure that you lubricate. Obviously, we want to do that ahead of time. But you don't want to over lubricate the gun at the same time. That can lead to some problems. Granted, I'm cleaning in real time, so there's oil all over the place. But again, we always wipe off the excess. Okay, no big deal. Got that all taken care of. Get inside the takedown. Pin, slide stop, hole. That all taken care of. Looks good. Now, something I like to do, just put a couple drops of CLP on the cleaning rod again. And we want to clean out the inside of the handle of the pistol, especially if this thing's been carried a lot, if it's seen a lot of use, if it's been used in a dirty, dusty environment. I just like to go from the top down, just give it a little scrub. And let's see if it brings anything out with it. I'm not using any cleanse oil down here. There's springs down here. There's some components that need to remain lubricated. I don't want to risk drying those out. Go from the bottom a little bit here, scrub the inside. Okay, this has the G10 grips on it, very sweet. Okay, pull it out, and you can see that we did bring off. Okay, a little bit of muck came with it, so it was dirty inside the handle. Okay, let's go ahead and re-lubricate the parts before we have some reassembly here. So first things first, go ahead and put a light coat of oil on your slide stop slash slide release. Okay. Okay, light coat of oil on the barrel bushing. Again, wipe off any excess that you don't want. That's totally up to you. I tend to leave the guns a little bit oily before the first range trip, and that's just me. Wipe off this um, recoil spring cover, plunger, okay? Then also your guide rod for your recoil spring. Push that gasket forward. And you can take it off if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, wipe everything off. Looks fantastic. Okay, we've got the uh, inside of the slide ready to go. Let's go ahead and wipe off the uh, recoil spring one more time. Make sure it's got just a little bit of lubricant on there too, so nothing binds up. There you go. All taken care of. Okay, so the uh, reassembly process on the uh, 1911s, you know, it can vary by, by pistol. Sometimes they're a little bit different. So we're going to start off by having the slide. We're just going to set it down like such. Uh, your barrel, go ahead and take this little link and push it forward. Barrel's going to go in from the front. Go ahead and push it to the rear. It's going to lock into place. There we go. Now I've got that little loop. Uh, press to the back for now, but eventually we're going to want to flip that forward. Take your barrel bushing. I guess we can look at it like this. You're going to want to put that barrel bushing back on so that we can get it back how it was before. You're going to go in from the right side here about the, the 4 o'clock position and rotate that all the way over to the left so it's around a 9 o'clock position if you're staring at the front of the barrel. Okay, go ahead and put that back. Then what you want to do is take your spring. You're going to have the small spring and the big spring. It's going to look like this when it comes out. The smaller spring, okay, the smaller size spring is going to go over the guide rod when you reassemble. Um, this part right here that has the curve on it is going to rest on the barrel along with the gasket. So go ahead and just set that on the barrel and push through with the spring. There we go. And it's more or less going to be exactly as it was before we disassembled it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and pull on this uh, guide rod spring combo forward a little bit. Flip that ring forward as such. And this part's a little bit tricky. I like to do this upside down, but that's just how I tend to reassemble. So we're going to hold the slide like this and just go ahead and slide it on. Now the key here, the thing that's going to be a little bit tricky is trying to get that uh, takedown lever slash slide stop. There we go. Okay, push back a little bit. It's going to go back into place. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to get that little loop so that it lines up with the barrel so we can push that pin straight through. So this is where we're at right now. Okay, I can see all the way through. I've got the little ring right there. Just go ahead and uh, pull back on the slide. So it gets to about this point. And that little notch right there, we're going to want that to line up. So if we push this pin through, it's going to go right through. Okay, it's going to lock right into place. Okay, go ahead and press. Okay, make sure it lines up just like that. And you can go ahead and push your slide forward a little bit. Now go ahead and set the uh, pistol back down. Here, let's give you a better angle on this. Uh, go ahead and take your end cap for your guide rod spring, your plunger. And you're going to push down, and then you're going to have to pull over with that bushing so it locks that uh, plug back into place. Okay, it's a little bit finicky, but it's not impossible. Again, I'd be using the, uh, the wrench if it was up to me. So I'll kind of show it to you from the side. You're going to push down like this, and then you're going to bring that bushing across. Let me do that for you here. Okay, you want to lock that into place. Be careful so you don't launch it. <laughs> Rubber gloves can make it complicated. Okay, it locks into place. Okay, we should be all set at this point. 
Go ahead and uh, cycle a few times. Make sure it's clear. It's not bad, it's very, very simple. Uh, again, disassembly is very similar to my uh, SR1911 Ruger. Feels very similar to it. The only difference is this one is chambered in nine millimeter. So that's it guys, I wanna thank you all for watching today. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you got any questions, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box and I will definitely respond back to you. Uh, please like and subscribe. And we've got a little podcast that we do called Caliber Corner on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Make sure you check it out. We talk firearms, we talk ammo. We have a lot of fun. Oh, by the way, the outside of the farm, give it a light coat of oil. You're going to be all set to go.